Hey guys, Alvin Shaw here with Team Wild City at Real Estate Leaders. Today on Wild City Eats, we're gonna be checking out Yellowstone Garage. The new kitchen's awesome. We got some classic American fare, and hopefully today we're gonna be having a great hamburger. Let's check this place out. Let's go. No, I had the uh, uh, the nitro tacos. They're really good. Um, three of them, so there's plenty of food. Uh, had a side salad today. Didn't have the French fries. Well, the fries are kind of curly. I had them last week. They're really good. Um, yeah, great atmosphere. Uh, a good place to come down. It's close to downtown, so good for business meetings and things like that as well. So we're here with Gary Joe Brierly. She is the uh, power behind the the operation here, and uh, excited to talk to her a little bit about how they uh, do things here and where it came from. So, Gary Joe, what's the origin of the Yellowstone Garage? The Yellowstone Garage used to be a car dealership um, back in the 20s, 30s, 40s, on the way up through the 70s. Um, then it became a Harley Davidson shop. Oh, I, I never heard that. Yes, and then it became R and R Machine. So we have taken a car dealership machine <laughs> shop and transformed it. Um, John has remodeled the building for years to bring it back to where it needs to be. This is really cool, and you guys have done a wonderful job with it. I love this setup, I obviously I love the bar. Um, really, what was the driving force behind John wanting to do this? I mean, what, what brought you guys to decide we should make this into a restaurant? We've been a venue for the last five years, and so many people wanted to come down and experience the building, see all of his restoration, so now people don't have to have an excuse to come down or be invited to a private event. So now we just, that way they can come down seven days a week and experience the building. What have you found to be people's favorite stuff about it? What, what do you really like about it? Um, our burgers are probably the number one item that's been talked about. Our wings are phenomenal, um, super delicious. Our chef makes all of the sauces um, from scratch. All of our dressings are made from scratch. So trying to keep as, as much um, homemade as possible. Today we're going to be checking out the Bored Out Burger. I've heard it's the burger. I haven't had it yet. I've been here a couple times, but I have not had this. Tell me about the Bored Out Burger. Well, the Bored Out Burger is John's favorite burger. It's um, cheddar cheese, bacon, and avocado. Um, all of our buns are actually made from recycled grains from a brewery in Montana. So it's on a cream ale bun. Um, so it gives a little bit of a kick to it. Not just your plain old white bread on your, on your burger. All right, Mike, so we talked a little bit about the burger. Um, as far, you know, it sounds like, oh man, now I'm hungry. Uh, so the, I've heard those fries are amazing. Tell me about what, like, what's the deal with those? It's just a really high quality product and uh, we season it very simply with just salt and pepper, believe it or not. And, sure. and yeah, just cook them. If you cook them perfectly and season them with salt and pepper, they're really good. Nice. So what's the trick to cooking them perfectly? Uh, well, it, this stage in my career, it's pretty much eyeball. It's not a, it's, you don't time anything. You look at it and you, you can tell when it's perfect. Well, I'm sure impressed with well, how well this place operates and we're excited to try some of those burgers. Let's check them out. All right, sounds good. Awesome. Thank you, sir. That okay. looks amazing. All right. All right, guys, we got the board out burger here. Super excited for it. It's got the bacon, the avocado, the tomatoes, and cheese and some sort of sauce. I don't remember what it was, but it looks amazing. And the bun, I'm excited for that. It sounds like it's amazing. Using that recycled stuff, I think that should be good. Let's dig in, see what it's like. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Mm. Man. Juicy, thick. That sauce is just to get a, just a little bit of a creamy feel. I love the avocado on it. And uh, can't wait to get into these fries. Try these out. Mm. Those are way better than Arby's. All right, guys. Again, it's Alvin Shaw with Team Wild City at Real Estate Leaders. Super excited. Thanks so much for watching Wild City Eats. And please come down, check out the Yellowstone Garage. These guys serve up great food. They're great people. These guys support the community in so many ways. You have to come down, see this place is right downtown. They're serving lunch, dinner, and they always have good things going on. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next week.